Hi everyone, and uh, here we are again, and uh, this time to make a hamburger. And in the previous tutorial, um, that I made some strawberries, I used a UV sphere to teach you how to create the strawberries. And uh, you can use that sphere, that sphere for uh, a lot of things, but in this case, I'm gonna teach you how to make another kind of sphere um, from a cube. I'm gonna use this cube. Most of people delete this cube and add another cube, but I'm gonna uh, keep this cube here and start with it. So, uh, the first thing we need to do is to select the cube and here and this is version 2.81 and here in this modifier properties we are going to add a subdivision surface level 3 I think no level 4 and render a uh, viewport in the viewport by example a uh, viewport is this view that you are seeing right here but sometimes by example I am creating a very large scene and I need a lot of uh, subdivision surface so instead of viewport I leave viewport like this and I just increase the render but in this case uh, I'm using the viewport because I'm gonna to apply this modifier so that's it okay and now let's go to the front view by pressing one and if you watched the previous tutorial you know that to switch from edit mode to object mode and vice versa you press tab so to the edit mode and let's uh, add a loop here with control R left click bring it to here another loop loop cut control R again um, I think it's fine okay back to the object mode by pressing tab um, it's fine front view uh, now we are going to uh, apply this modifier here hit apply now to the object mode to the edit mode again let's deselect this loop by pressing alt a and now um, when I want to select all the faces of a object I go to the wireframe mode so to go to the wireframe mode press Z for and let's box selecting the, the upper part of our bread B I think this part's okay and let's create two different objects from the same kind of sphere so let's separate this selected area from the object by pressing P and selection and now tab to go to the object mode you can see that now we have two objects okay okay and uh, now let's work uh, with the upper part of uh, the the bread and for this let's hide the bottom part by selecting it and press H okay we're still in the wireframe mode so let's go back to the solid mode by pressing Z6 um, and let's smooth it 
by right click shade smooth okay and down here as you can see there is no face and we need a face there is a lot of ways that you can create a face but uh, we are going to use the displace modifier later and for this uh, we need a special kind of faces here that I use a lot by example you know that if you um, select this loop by pressing control and clicking sorry it's out <laughs> if you press out and click to select the loop and press F you create face but if you apply the sub the um, displace modifier later it's gonna be really weird and odd uh, with a very bad result because the displace modifier needs a lot of uh, faces and here we have only one so control Z if you, if you haven't cl uh, selected the loop yet press out and click and select and then up here in face let's grid fill it look that's exactly what we want okay a very good topology and now and um, it's time to add this displace modifier because as you can see it's an organic shape and organic shape uh, are not uh, perfect like a ball by example so here in the modifier properties add modifier displace um, and now uh, we are going to displace it with a uh, texture so here in texture hit new let's rename it to bread bread okay and now down here in this texture properties you can see that our displace modifier and the texture that we just created is right here and we are going to use the cloud texture to create this random so type clouds um, it's pretty good for me okay and now back to the modifier place let's add another subdivision surface level one and let's bring down the strength to point two let's see um, I think point one in my opinion point is really good And now uh, it's time to save our work. So here in file, save as. I'm gonna rename mine to M Burger. And save as you can say you can create um, a another file and save in it. okay and now let's work in the bottom part so it's hide let's unhide it by pressing alt H let's uh, smooth it right click shade smooth to the front view by pressing 1 and as you can see it's very tall and it, it, it's not looking like a bread 
so let's resize it in the z-axis by pressing S Z and let's bring it to the bottom by pressing G to movement and Z to bring it to the bottom and as you can see like the upper part it doesn't have a face and we are going to to make the same thing we made for the upper part so go to the edit mode by pressing tab ok to the object mode by pressing tab and out click to select this last loop here face grid fill you can see that it's a little bit strange but here in grid fill you can increase the number of subdivisions okay And, and now uh, we are going to use the same displays um, from the upper part of the bread in the bottom part of the bread so uh, to make that you select first the object that you want the modifier applied hold shift and select the object that already has the modifier now you hit Ctrl L and select modifiers. This way, this bottom part has the same modifiers than the upper part. Now, um, as you can see in uh, in the hamburger there is no uh, seeds all over the place only on the top of it so let's say blender where we want the the seeds in the particle system and for that let's use the weight paint mode so you select the this upper part and here select weight paint Uh, strength 1000 is ok and you can uh, resize uh, your brush by pressing F mine is ok this this size so now just paint okay. you will see this red color here and when we paint here down here in the object data properties it creates a group for us it it means that where we paint is being assigned to this group so we can go ahead and rename this group to seeds okay um, it doesn't need to be perfect mine is ok in my opinion so let's go back to the object mode oh. ok uh, now let's create the seed for our bread and for that let's go to the top view by pressing 7 and I want my seed right here so let's select the cursor put it here go back to the select box pressing shift a mesh plane go to the edit mode by pressing tab and select this vert hold shift this one s x 0 
go to the object mode by pressing tab and here in this modifier properties let's add a subdivision surface level 3 in the viewport let's add another modifier solidify um, I think point 14 is okay here in the thickness and another modifier subdivision surface level 1 is fine so now let's apply all those those modifiers apply 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 and right click shade smooth our seed is created you can go ahead and rename it here in this in this little uh, yellow square to see let's select this bread and here in the particle properties let's hit plus and rename it to seeds 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 change from enter to hair I think uh, 200 seeds are okay and down here in vertex groups let's select the group that we created with the weight painting seeds and as you can see the seeds are gonna be only in this place now um, here in source let's emit from faces to verts and the render our seed is an object so let's render as it's here in the render from path to object and with this eyedropper let's select the seed okay it's strange but we're gonna solve it right now so click this check this advanced box and down here in rotation check it and let's change from velocity hair to normal tangent and now select the seed and let's rotate in the x-axis by pressing R X 90 and let's add this rotation by pressing Ctrl A rotation and voila it is still uh, a little bit odd so let's select here and down here in emit from verts let's uncheck this random order and down here in scale let's um, increase the scale random and here let's decrease this scale um, I think that 0 0.020 is ok and up here in rotation let's increase the phase and the randomized phase it's pretty nice in my opinion now it's time to create the hamburger itself and for that we are going to use this bottom part of the bread so let's select it press duplicate it by pressing shift D ask G Z S Z and now uh, we want uh, uh, to resize the hamburger only in the y and x axis and no in the z axis so to make that we press s and lock the z axis by pressing shift z 
and now it resizes only in the y and x axis um, and I don't want this this um, displays modifier in the in our hamburger because I'm gonna to create it uh, with the shader I don't know if I remove or I let it here oh you decide I'm gonna to remove mine here in this modifier tab I'm gonna to remove this place okay and our hamburger is created Uh, now let's create the lettuce um, so let's bring our cursor to this hamburger by pressing a shift s cursor to select it and let's add a plane by pressing shift a mesh plane let's uh, subdivide uh, let me see let's add the subdivision surface here in this add modifier tab subdivision level 4 in the viewport and let's apply it and resize it in the y and x axis and lock the z axis by pressing S shift Z ok and now let's add a displace modifier let's create uh, our texture hit new let's rename it to lattice let's go here in the image in type let's change to clouds and I think it's fine now back to the modifier properties let's add another subdivision surface and let's bring down the strength to point 2 let me see no point 3 um, I think point 6 is fine right click shade smooth one um, now let's three to the side view and let's bring a little bit to to up by pressing Z and I think it's fine but Maybe I'm gonna create two hamburgers and only one lettuce. So, um, okay, I think it's fine. Let's go to the side view by pressing 3. Let's select the hamburger and bring it to the bottom by pressing G, Z. Right here. Now the lettuce. G, Z and now let's create another hamburger by selecting it duplicating it by pressing shift D ask G, Z ok and now uh, it's time to create uh, the cheese the shader cheese so let's hide this bread by selecting it and pressing H and now let's add a plane by pressing shift A mesh plane side view by pressing 3 G Z to bring it to here and 7 to go to the top view and now the wireframe view because I wanna see all the objects so Z for 
and I'm gonna make this cheese a little bit um, bigger than 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 the hamburgers. So F Shift C. I think it's fine. And let's rotate it by pressing R Z like this. Okay. Let's go back to the solid view by pressing Z six and let's subdivide this cheese let's go to the edit mode by pressing tab right click subdivide and here in the number of cuts let's put I think um, 15 it's ok back to the object mode And now uh, we're gonna use the cloth simulation uh, to make the cheese. So um, you go here in this physics properties, select cloth. You don't have to to work in these settings because the default is fine for this purpose. And then you select this hamburger is still in the physics properties you select collision because this cheese need to lay on it on this hamburger so now um, you just press the space bar on your computer and see the magic happens Oh, I think the letters need to be a collision too. So uh, to escape from the animation mode, I pressed ESC. So letters collision, and again let's press the spacebar. very good so ask and now let's spend here if you are if in your blender it's not uh, animation down here you can just go here and select it here in timeline okay so now um, it's fine But I think I'm gonna use a two two cheese. So let's duplicate it by pressing Shift D G Z seven to top view R Z like this and now space bar again. Very good. And now we need to I don't know what's happened, but we can apply it in this one and make another animation for this second. So select this one. Here in the modifier tab, apply the cloth simulation. Now you can move it the way you want. Right click, shade smooth. And now um, let's go back to the zero and press spacebar to make this other one. So ask, bring it to here and let's apply apply selected and apply right click shade smooth um, and 
now we need a some thickness to this cheese so select the first one here in the modifier tab solidify and I I think 0 0.02 is okay so now you select this other cheese that the, that still doesn't have the thickness hold shift select the other one control L modifiers okay and now uh, let's bring our bread by pressing alt H selected go to the side view by pressing 3 G Z and our hamburger is done now it's time to create the materials and now uh, it's time to create the materials and let's first create the material for the brand so let's select it and here let's change from timeline to shade editor and down here when you see this little arrow you right click and vertical split and now here you press N to hide this and N here we have the shader editor and here the UV editor the UV we're gonna use it to select our palette so let's open it open search our palette and open but we're still in EV and I'm creating this hamburger in cycles so let's change it now so here in this television switch from EV to cycles okay now let's place the camera let's go to the side view by pressing 3 and to put the camera to the view you press control out 0 okay and now let's go to the render view okay and we have this uh, little lamp here let's delete it by selecting it and pressing X delete and I taught you how to make and uh, the three point lights in previous tutorial but now I'm gonna uh, make it again I'm gonna teach you how to use things from uh, other projects this way uh, you don't need to remake them okay so if you still don't have this kind of uh, point light three point light uh, I teach them in the um, strawberry tutorial so watch if you don't want to watch the whole tutorial watch only this part this way you can see how to make it so to bring these lights from the other tutorial you go here in file append and then I'm going to search for my strawberry tutorial and here in no project I named my light well light 2 and spot you select them uh, by holding control and append and now as you can see I have them here of course my scene is way bigger than the other so I have to adjust then I'm going to bring this uh, spot to back by pressing G Y and resize those by selecting one Sh hold shift to select the other S okay 
but as we can see it's not in the right direction so we need to select all of them this, this and the spot and rotate it by pressing RZ90 now it's pointing the right direction G Y zero to see from the camera view now let's bring those two by pressing GX um, I think let's resize it in my opinion it's fine so let's select the bread you can see that there's always already a material created here but if it's not select the material properties and create your material I'm gonna rename it to bread and to unselect the, those seeds press ALT A okay and now let's give some color to the bread So here in the shader editor press shift A shader no sorry color mix RGB and plug the color to the base color and to the subsurface color and for the bread we're gonna use this color and that So for the first color, let's select this, and for the second color, let's select this. Okay. And now, um, let's add a gradient texture by pressing Shift A, texture. Gradient texture and let's plug the fact to the fact and now uh, let's enable a very important atom that comes with Blender here in edit go to preferences and here in add-ons type WRA node wrangler check it and down here save preferences and close it so if you press control T and press on it you will see this mapping and this texture coordinate okay now instead of generated let's change it to object okay and let's rotate in the y-axis by 90 degrees because our real um, hamburger you can see that this upper part is a little bit um, darker than the, the bottom part so that's exactly what we want and now here in subsurface let's increase the subsurface and I think it's fine but I think it's still not that good so um, 
after the gradient texture I'm gonna to add a color ramp by pressing shift A converter color ramp and try to make it a little bit I think it's a little bit better but oh I forgot one thing here instead of linear you change to quadratic That's exactly what I want. Um, but I think uh, this bread needs a little bit more roughness. So um, I think that point two eighty six is fine. And now let's create uh, the hamburger material. So let's select the hamburger. As you can see, it has this bread material signed. So let's remove it by pressing this minus button to remove it. And let's add another material by pressing this plus button. And new. Let's rename it to hamburger and here we are going to use two different textures for this hamburger I think those then press shift A color mix RGB and plug the color to the color and Let's select this first color, it's darker, and the second, this other one. Okay, and for the subsurface, let's select this color. I think that this is okay, but let's make it a little bit darker fine and now for the fact let's use a noise texture shift a texture noise where is it here and fact to effect Let's increase this scale uh, and this to 16. Now let's add a color ramp here by pressing Shift A, Converter, Color Ramp, and you can see. Um, that now we have the two colors I think four is okay four And now let's create uh, this roughness value here. And for that uh, we are going to use those two. So select one, shift, hold shift, select other, duplicate it by pressing shift D. And plug this color to the roughness. 
and increase it okay and now here let's add a invert node shift a color invert and let's play with it I think it's okay um, and now uh, let's add some bump map to it so let's again use this nice texture so shift D shift A vector bump and plug the fact to the height and normal to normal um, but I think it's not okay so let's increase to 2000 Let's add um, another color ramp here, shift A, converter, color ramp, I can't remember if I applied the scale, so let's apply it now by pressing Ctrl A, scale. I want only some place it's not working uh, so let's uh, apply a real displays so let's remove this X, 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 and let's select the hamburger, shift the bread, control L, modifiers. And but now for this hamburger, we need uh, that cloud texture to be. Uh, much smaller than it is so here you can see that we already have it here but for the bread so let's create another texture so let's remove it and as you can see it didn't affect the bread and let's create another one and call it hamburger Okay, and now down here in the image, select clouds, and let's make it a little bit smaller. And also, let me see if I increase this subsurface. No, I think it's fine. Now here in the modifier, let's increase the strength. Much better, right? I think it's okay. You can go ahead and try to make it much more realistic, but in my opinion it's fine. I think that... Let me play a little with this invert node here. Now uh, let's apply this material to this other hamburger 
So to make that you select first the hamburger and you have to remove this bread material here minus button and now you hold shift select the other hamburger control L materials now both have the same materials uh, now as you can see um, this cheese is clipping with this other one so let's solve it by selecting one press G Z and bring it up till it doesn't clip anymore I think it's okay and now let's create our cheese material so select it and here in material press new and I'm gonna name mine shader and it's a very simple material so here in base color you select this shader and also in the surface color shader and you increase the subsurface and decrease the roughness and now we are going to select to put this material in the second cheese so select it hold shift select the second cheese control L materials and now it's okay now uh, let's create the the seed material that it's very simple so let's select the seed here you can see mine is here you search yours in your blender and here in material new seed and here in base color let's select this color Um, but I think it needs to be a little bit clear like this and roughness too I think it's okay but I still think that those um, seeds are too big so let's um, make them smaller select the brand here in the particle properties down here in the scale let's try 10 in my opinion 10 is much better okay now um, it's time to create the this lettuce material so let's select it again here in the material properties new latest and we are going to use those two colors so shift a color mix RGB here and this and that and we are so we are also gonna use a translucent shader so let's shift a shader add shader and shift a shader and uh, translucent let's use this clear version 
Okay, but I think it needs to be a little more have a little more roughness and as you can see it's clipping here so let's solve this select it go to rend uh, edit mode um, but first I have to apply my displays so here in the modifier apply the place now go to the edit mode select one of your verts go to the proportional editing by pressing O G Z scroll the mouse down and let's go to the solid view right here and Let's select another vertice. It's already selected. So, G, Z. Okay. Mine is okay. And now let's disable this proportional editing by pressing O. Again, to the camera view by pressing 0. And for the fact. Let's use a noise texture by pressing Shift A, texture, noise texture, fac to the fac. Detail to sixteen, and Let's make this a little bit brighter. Oh, it's not that believable, but I think it's fine. You can go ahead and keep it and keep um, working on it, but for me, it's fine. So, um, all the materials has been created, and uh, now it's time to create. Uh, the place where our hamburger is gonna be on it let's save um, now our job I'm gonna create another instance and let's create our cutting board and this solid view press shift A shift A circle let's see where is it it's probably inside of it If you cannot find our circle, just click here in circle and let's make it uh, bigger. So let's go to the seven to the top view by pressing seven and S. Like this is fine. Now let's go to the edit mode by pressing tab and let's use uh, the grid fill to fill the circle I think 11 is fine and now uh, let's go back to the solid view Z6 and let's use the um, solidify modifier to give some thickness to it so I think like this is ok and also a subdivision surface ok, level 2 
the viewport okay and now let's apply the solidify modifier and here let's add a, a loop cut by pressing ctrl r and bring it to here to make it a little bit sharper and ctrl r again here right click shade smooth three or one okay let, let's uh, press one and let's select this this seed g x and bring it to the side and now let's select the cutting board g z and put it right here so let's see pretty nice right and we are going to uh, use the same technique that I used before append the like I don't know the table from the other and uh, from the other document and bring it to here okay and we are going to use uh, the same material for this cutting board because when you append a object it comes with the material already so it's gonna save us some time as you can see the these seeds is appearing but we wa don't want it to appear here so we selected G Y G Y and bring it to here now you can see it's not appearing here anymore because we can only uh, see what's in this window okay in my opinion uh, this bread is looking like plastic so let's solve it now by selecting it and increasing this roughness value now it looks much better in my opinion so now um, it's time for us to append this table from the other document okay uh, now you search here in file append uh, where you have your table if you don't have and you don't know how to make watch the strawberry tutorial and you'll see very easily I show it very easily how to make it so uh, let's see mine is here then object mine is table and as you can see it's here so to the camera view let's bring it down by press by selecting it and pressing G Z scale it S and now let's darker these world settings here so here in world in color let's bring it to black And now uh, to create the textures, uh, the material for the cutting board, uh, we are going to use this amazing, wonderful site like HDR Heaven um, CC0 Textures. It is marvelous. I love it so much. It helped me a lot and it has a lot of textures um, with this kind of license. CC0 and you can use it so um, we are going to use the textures from this site to create our cutting board material and now um, 
let's unwrap this cutting board let's go to the solid view select the cutting board go to the edit mode by pressing tab and let's, let's select this part here by pressing out and clicking remember here you need to have a vertex select mode selected shift out click shift out click and again now let's add a scene here control e mark scene same thing in the bottom so uh, let's uh, first hide this plane Let's go to the solid view by pressing tab, select the plane, H to hide it, select again the cutting board, go to the edit mode by pressing tab, now out click, shift out click, and do that till it's selected. Control E mark scene and let me see, uh, let's uh, mark a seam behind our cutting board, uh, our cutting board so, like here, let's select here the edge select mode and select, shift select, control E mark seam and now let's select the whole object by pressing A U unwrap and now it's selected now let's um, let me see, ok now let's make the material so down here in this you can go ahead and create the material here you don't need to go here and here so new let's um, rename it to cutting because of cutting board and let's add let's uh, switch to this rendered mode now let's add a image texture by pressing shift a texture image texture as you can see it has this pink color because we still, we still didn't uh, select the image so let's open it um, let's see. here uh, you can see call so it's this, let me see, amazing, and here you can see that we have all those options, I use R, this as RGB, or Filmic, I prefer Filmic most of the time, and now let's add another uh, image texture by pressing shift A texture image texture color this time the color goes to the um, roughness and here um, we're going to open it this roughness map and down here in color space you select non color because the only part that we need the color is the first one and now let's select it here shift D and open the normal map here normal also non color I duplicated by pressing shift D but you can go ahead and add another one so shift A vector normal map plug the color to the color and 
and the normal to the normal let me see oh it's I think it's too shine and it's not showing the the right direction so let's unhide our table by pressing out H and I think it's too too dark so let's change here from filmic to srgb much better um, okay and now let's select here first let's select the face selection mode out and click out and click out and click and here you can see right here so uh, let's press 8 select it and rotate it by pressing R control much better I think um, it's fine in my opinion and now um, one of the last steps we are going to select our camera and let me see here in, in this uh, green camera and down here in viewport display composition guides let's select thirds this is uh, the composition uh, so let's go back to the solid view and for uh, this kind of composition uh, you might know the rule of thirds we are going to place this uh, object in this part of our rule of thirds so let's pre press G X it's Y actually G Y and place it right here and that's all now we just need to go ahead and render it so let's go to this render tab and out here in this little television let's up to 200 and here it might be 100% uh, so now let's go ahead and press F12 and now just let's save it here image save as hamburger save as image and it's done I hope you like it if you did please subscribe to my channel for more amazing tutorials like it, share with your friends, and thank you very much. See you, I'm gonna post a, a, a new tutorial every Sunday or Monday. So, thank you, bye bye.